hey you guys and welcome to this video thanks so much for tuning in with me this week and uh yeah i'm gonna try something out that's a little bit different from the norm of straight photography videos wanted to open up a little bit share with you guys a little bit about me and my journey in 2020. today i wanted to open up and share with you guys a lifestyle change i decided to make in 2020. that sounded real dramatic a lifestyle change at the start of the year i decided to get off social media stop watching TV, limit my time on YouTube, and stop playing video games. Well, I guess it kind of does sound dramatic if you cut all those things out at one time. Hey fam, why you did that? It's easy, just, just, just listen real closely. All right, this COVID-19 has everything messed up. Normally it's hella loud in my apartment. There's traffic on the streets. There's my neighbors being super loud. And it's just so much noise typically, but it's not just the noise from the outside world. It's the noise from television, the noise from being on social media, and not to mention just the noise in my head. Like my internal dialogue is crazy loud and often quite distracted and all over the place. So I was at work a couple weeks ago. So my coworker was telling me about this article he read about how there are some people walking around this earth right now who simply don't have internal dialogues. They're like walking around and it's just crickets in their head, just. So my internal dialogue is always going 24 hours a day, nonstop, heavy foot traffic for me. It just is what it is. Let's add some more noise to the dome. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, TV, video games, all noise and distractions on top of the internal dialogue you already have going in your head on a daily basis. It gets to be way too much. Oh, right, uh, where was I? I found myself jammed up. Like I'd sit down to write and it would feel like I was going 12 rounds in the ring, just fighting to get through my pages. And it was like, dang, what's it gonna take for me to focus? My, my brain was just scattered. I couldn't, I couldn't sit still and just write. I was even struggling with my photography. I knew I was reaching a space in my journey as a photographer where I really wanted to start to figure out like what my aesthetic was. If someone were to see a photograph, they might go, huh, that looks like a Talia photo. Like you do when you have a photographer who's clearly figured out like what their aesthetic is. You see their work, it all lines up, it makes sense. You're like, yeah, that's definitely Diane Arbus. I want to be moving in that direction. And I want the same thing for my writing. If you read a passage in a book, I want you to be able to go, hmm, sounds like a Talia passage. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks like this. I'm sure every artist aspires to reach this level in their work. That's just where I am right now. And in order for me to get to that next phase, I made some big changes. I was distracted. I knew I wasn't as productive as I could be and as I wanted to be. I had to cut the fat the distraction fat, so to speak. No more aimless scrolling, no more double tapping, no more liking, no more endless hours of TV binges on Netflix, my fave. No more staying up late at night, trying to get another car on my Need for Speed app on my phone. Kinda miss that game. I don't know how many cars I'd have now. I'm telling you, I can waste some free time. It's kind of a talent, an unfortunate talent, but still. And why is that? I had to ask myself, Now that I'm four months into this boycott, so to speak, I have a bit of hindsight on my side. And from what I can tell, I wasn't prioritizing my mental health, which affected the clarity I really wanted and needed. I was often working upwards of 50 hours a week, sprinkling in some doubles here and there to sweeten the pot a little bit. And these hours weren't even including the hours I was putting towards my own personal projects. I was tapped physically and 100% mentally, no doubt. 
any free time I had, I'd find myself disconnecting and putting my brain on autopilot. The somewhat passive mental stimulation of watching television or being on social media, heck, even YouTube sometimes, it soothed me, but it also stole time, a commodity that you can't get back. There's no refund all time. It's just wasted. When it comes to YouTube, obviously I'm still on the platform. Um, making videos is a priority for me and continuing to get better at doing so is on my list as well. Um, however, I do limit how much time I spend on YouTube each week. I'm not gonna front, being disconnected has been a trip so far. Like simple everyday interactions have taken on a whole new meaning for me. I, I look at them completely differently now. Simple things like getting on an elevator and watching everyone around me bury their faces in their cell phones to avoid having in-person interactions fascinates me. It just does. People don't even wanna say hi to you no more. They'd rather just see the out of you while you were within two feet of them. So, hey. Where are we going, right? I have a few friends and family who get frustrated when they can't share a, a clip or like a, a meme with me from social media or when I have no idea what current challenge is circulating on social. It means nothing to me. I have to say the thing that irritates me the most is when I'm trying to have a conversation with someone in person and their face is glued to some screen that really gets on my nerves now. And before I don't think I paid attention to how much people don't engage with you. Just know you're working in nerves. It didn't have to be that way. I'm present. When I'm speaking to someone in person, I'm fully engaged in what they're saying to me. It's a proper back and forth interaction. When I sit down to write, the voice in my head now is focused on helping me to do the best work possible. When I have a camera in my hand, I'm fully aware and fully working towards making the best image I can in that moment. I'm creating work that I'm proud of now, work that I don't have to wonder, what was I thinking when I put it together? Because all of my focus is on my task at hand. This year is about focus, yes. Mental clarity, no doubt. But it's also a year about me rediscovering my creative voice and allowing it to be heard. Now this video is not intended to be on some type of high horse and to convince you to get off of social media, to stop watching TV and put down your video games. I don't even mess with horses, okay? They're too damn big and they don't respect my five foot three frame. I just wanted to share with you guys my journey for 2020. So if you happen to like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you know I'll be back next week with another one. And share the video with a friend because sharing is caring and that's what we're gonna be doing here on my channel, sharing. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.